Seriously. Honestly and truly. We're back, the Art District, and uh, having a quick burger at Nevada Brew Works, and then we're gonna walk around and see what's new down here. Look at the size of that pretzel, guys. There's my hand. That is crazy. I bet it tastes really good. I'm gonna check it out in a minute. Wondering why I haven't talked about my burgers because I got excited and ate it. Well, they finally took the fence down and got the parking lot finished, but we can't park here yet. This was fenced in for a long time. Couldn't get to this art before, but I filmed it many times. Fear of COVID in Las Vegas. Filmed it a million times. Of course, it's recycled propaganda that did it. Used to be uh, on my phone, lock screen for a long, long time. It's kind of cool I get to come over here and look at this art again. I haven't seen it in a long time. Once they put the fence up, I kind of even stopped looking over here. I just made a funny joke about this because I wasn't really paying attention. I'm looking at it through my camera. My son corrected me. I thought those were pot plants. That's a Joshua tree. Go ahead, laugh it up. Go ahead, go ahead. I was about to say, that looks nothing like a pot plant because I've seen a bunch of them. Michelle even poses when she takes pictures of walls. Even like when you can't see me. <laughs> Michelle's never actually done an art walk down through here. And there's a lot of really cool new art, but I don't blame her. Because the last time she was here, she was by herself. And this alley can be a little bit shady of some, some parts of the day. Anime is starting to show up everywhere. There's some pretty dope art though. What does it say, Alex? Huh. Um, it says black something or other. It says black sheep. <laughs> Anybody need a sprocket for their 10 speed? <laughs> Michelle and Alex are out here ruining their lives, and I just realized I didn't even segue from Nevada Brew Works to us walking the art alley. And now we're headed into, uh, I believe it's the new skate shop down here. It's a clothing store, but you can rent skates and like skate all over the place, which is pretty cool. Can you imagine me on roller skates? No, Michelle's shaking her head. No, you cannot imagine me on roller skates. And whatever you're imagining is probably pretty funny. <laughs> I've done multiple videos with the Red Cat. They're really, really cool people. So if you're in a vintage clothing, you gotta come down and check them out. But this is the new skate shop that they just uh, opened up down here. How cool is this? They have a half pipe in here. I don't know if they just let people come ride or what, but uh, in my younger days, I would come in here and get sprained ankles, crack my head open, break my wrist. It was all for the joy of riding a bicycle. This is super cool though, it really is. Right here inside the skate shop. They have some really cool merch in this store. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Blingy, 
Michelle has a camera. Bling bling. Me on skates wearing this. <laughs> I would pay to see that. <laughs> Okay, what kind of funny pins do we have? You're my lobster. That's uh, that's some friends. Oh, these are friends pins, or some of them. We work on a break. We were on a break. Oh, that's right. We were on a break. Hello, Regina Falange. Ha <laughs> ha Too funny. Badge bomb. Nasty woman. I think I know her. Every Christmas I look forward to a bag of socks from my mom. Because <laughs> mom gave us like the bag with 500 socks in it lasted all year long. And I always wear my socks until they could walk by themselves. Well, this is kind of cool. Alex found a little spot to chill out in here. They got like a little, a little waiting area, lounge type area. And Alex has his little flower pillows. And I don't, I don't know who's mean mugging on the chair right here, but that is a really funny pillow. I'm sure it has some significance to somebody. Frida Kala? Something like that. I don't know. I, I can't really read what it says. And they got a little shag carpet right here going on. What a cool little spot. This is the skate shop in the art district. Totally got to come check it out. Everybody needs cup of noodle slippers. It's time to get baked. Who doesn't need hot sauce first thing in the morning all over your toes? Michelle is creating acts of vandalism. I got permission. Lies, all lies. So the shop has all kinds of really cool merch. You can get skates in here, you can get wheels, trucks, all the things you need for your skates. And then they have clothes, and then they have the novelty things. They're not really novelty, they're just kind of fun. Like the slippers, and the, and the pajamas, and the t-shirts. It's a really, really cool little shop. And a welcome addition to the art district. It really is, so cool. Who knows what those are? Comment below. Who's actually used one? Comment below. <laughs> this is Fresa, guys. I probably pronounced it wrong, but she is the owner of the skate shop down here. So what's the inspiration? Um, gosh, everything's really in my head. So this is Fresa Skate Shop, and we built this location around the lifestyle of roller skating. So for us, it's a lifestyle. It's not just a hobby. Um, I make sure that it felt friendly, fun, and happy. It's like you see all the colors. And I wanted to make sure we also like supported our local community. Uh, a lot of our art is made by local skaters. We're amazing with their art. That is totally awesome. And I mean, it, it, for you to say that uh, skating is a lifestyle to you, that, so that totally puts it into perspective why you did this. It's awesome. It's a welcome addition to the art district. Yeah. It's so cool and happy and colorful when I came in here and I was I was it was a lot more than I was expecting. Yeah. So. I think a lot of people they just say, Oh, skate shop. Like they don't expect it until they see it. They're like, Oh my god, this is more than a skate shop. It's really one stop uh, skate shop. We teach uh, classes, we do maintenance on your skates, we build skates. Uh, but mostly we like to support our local community and like by that we do a lot of rollouts which are free uh, We host first Fridays with local bands and um, you know, they come and play this it becomes like a venue on Friday on first Friday So it's so much fun. That's awesome. I've done a couple first Fridays I'll have to do one now that I know that you oh, guys yeah, we are have part live of it. music food in the back So it's so much fun. Very cool. Thank you so much no for uh, being on camera. Thank you. Thank you. I build construction. I build construction. I build construction. Yes, Mark doing it. I do construction for a living, and it's taken him three years to build this Colorado building. I don't know what the hell is taking so long. It's crazy. It should have been done like in the first year. I don't even know what it is yet. Looks like good pies put in their own permanent patio now rather than just the chairs and a chain that used to be out here. 
Hacienda Mexicana. This looks new. I don't think I've ever been in here. As soon as the lady saw the camera when I walked inside, she wasn't feeling it, so I didn't do any filming. But it's a cool little store. It's got a really, it's really got a lot of uh, cool trinkets, I guess you would say, in there. Like shot glasses and coffee cups and just really cool stuff. Some of the stuff you can see over here at Casa Don Juan's in their case because they buy from that store. I don't know how I missed this shop with all the videos I've made in our district, guys, but this is the pharmacy board shop, and uh, you're going to get everything you need for skateboards here. This place is cool. When I was 16 years old, I'd be in here freaking out. Yeah, they got all the sick skater merch through here. No trip to the art district would be complete without a stop at one of my favorite art shops. I love recycled propaganda. My favorite art gallery down here in the art district. This one says die. I never noticed all the VHS tapes they have strapped to the wall. One of them is the Lone Ranger. This truly is the weirdest room in here, but it's also my favorite room. <laughs> Definitely, if you're ever around wandering around in the art district, you have to come in and check out Recycled Propaganda. Of all the videos I make, I gotta say that these ones here where we just kind of wander around on the weekend and have no rhyme or reason or plan or anything that we're gonna do are the funnest ones to make. Because you never know what we're gonna get into with the camera. They might not always be the funnest ones to watch, but they are the funnest ones to make. I just love the art district. And I know as they expand, it's just gonna get better and better, and a lot more great shops are gonna pop up. Still, these videos are the funnest to make because we're just wandering around with no rhyme or reason. And Michelle was hanging out with me today. That was a lot of fun. Alex just walked out of frame, so but you know he's always with me. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Y'all know what to do. See you on the next one. Alex said he doesn't like Fremont Street anymore. <laughs> Pack your shit and get out of my house. <laughs>